I want to find out from you, everybody has a different definition of networking, although there are some common themes. So I want to find out from you, what do you think is networking? How do you define networking? Building relationships. Building relationships. Staying in touch. Anybody else? How about, I have no clue. No, I'm sure you guys do. Yes. <laughs> Selling yourself. Everybody's on this side. What's the, there we go. There we go. Exchanging information. I'm sorry. Finding a key partner. I like that. Actually, I like all of them. Anybody else? <laughs> uh, finding commonalities. Love that. So those are uh, and differences, and differences. Those are all fabulous, fabulous definitions of networking. However, I also know that there are those who are thinking, oh my God, the thought of networking, uh, walking into a room with people I don't know, uh, I just, it just makes me shiver. Anybody here like that? Who cares to admit it? Oh yeah, so honest people, yes. <laughs> and, and so there's this big mystique around networking that people have that I have to go into a room and talk to people I don't know and, and exchange cards and, and pretend that I like them and that I'm interested in what they're saying, <laughs> right? And it, it, so people build it up to be this big thing. But do you know what? You guys are networking every single day. So what I want to introduce you to, for those of you who are not yet familiar with it, is the concept of what I call strategic networking. So strategic networking, anybody want to guess what I might mean by that? Ah, planning ahead. Perfect, perfect. So like anything else, you guys are, how many are in the business school? Anybody here? OK, fabulous. And I love the rest of you guys too, but <laughs> I am a little biased. Uh, so strategic networking is about having a plan. So first thing is to determine what is it that I want to do? Where do I want to go? And it's not just about your career, but I encourage you to think about your entire life. Envision the kind of life you want for yourself. Because if you just focus on the career, you're going to make decisions that you will end up regretting. And I won't go into the details of that. That's for another topic. Uh, however, when you think about what you want for yourself and that vision for yourself, Think about the kind of life you want, the kind of, do you want a family and all of this. I had this conversation with my daughter who's 18 years old and she's right now making the decision about what school to attend and so forth. And she loves to cook and all of that. So I had this conversation with, with Danielle, her name's Danielle. I said, Danielle, so what do you envision for yourself? She said, I want to be a chef. I said, okay. I said, okay, great. And so you're, you're going to be okay, Danielle, with uh, being out really late at night and not seeing your family or so forth. And she's like, well, I, actually, I didn't think of it. And I'm not, I'm not bashing chefs for those of you who are aspiring to be chefs. My idea, the goal was to, sh to have her think broadly about all that's involved with being the vocation that she's thinking of. So when you think of your vocation or your vision for yourself, make sure that's inclusive, not just of your vocation, but also all, everything else that goes with it. Got it? OK, so you have this vision of yourself, and you're thinking, people are like, well, what does this have to do with networking? Well, if you don't know where you're going, you're going to be very haphazard about it. And some people say, well, you don't need to plan. It, it'll all work out. Well, that may be the case for some people. But those who plan tend to get closer to where they want to go, right? It's very possible you may get lucky and be discovered or have some great, fabulous thing happen to you. But it's also most likely that you're going to have to decide what you want and work for it, OK? So this is for the people who are not waiting for luck or discovery, but are going to work hard and ha have a vocation and a plan for themselves. And I bet that's most of you, right? You're here in school, so you're, you're planning on a particular career or something that you want to aspire to, right? So and even if you're not, you should, <laughs> my recommendation. OK, so we have a plan for ourselves. We know where we're going. And then you're thinking, OK, so how am I going to get there? And what does this have to do with networking? So the idea of strategic networking is that you're thinking about what are the goals that you're going to need to get there. And you still you're thinking, well, what does this have to do with networking? Shouldn't I just go and just talk to people and just be, uh, uh, you know, if it happens, it happens. And I will share with you a story. 
And this story is actually about me. I was a student here at Northeastern, as I mentioned, the business school, and I went to an event where the head of one of GE Capital's uh, divisions was the speaker. It was on campus, and I went over, listened to the talk, and at the time, I was told by him, I went up to him afterwards, introduced myself, had a business card and all of that. Of course, the co-op office had prepared me well. And I, I went up and introduced myself and I said, you know, I would love the opportunity to be considered for GE Capital's leadership program. And he said to me, well, we don't really uh, recruit here for that program. Uh, I said, well, would you just take my resume and can I follow up with you uh, you know, and if it happens, it happens, but would, is that okay? He said, sure, sure. The poor man had no idea what he was getting into <laughs> because not only did I follow up with him, I followed up multiple times. I was not a pest, but I did follow up multiple times, shared with him why I thought it would be a great fit for their program, and lo and behold, I was invited in for that. Back then, it was like two days of interviewing at GE Capital's headquarters in Stamford, Connecticut. And uh, as history will tell it, I went on to be in the GE Capital's management development program. The reason I share that story with you is because it illustrates what I'm telling you now. I had a vision for myself. I was prepared. I had my story together. I had my business cards together. I didn't take no for an answer. I was respectful but persistent. And in doing so, I was able to land what was a highly coveted spot in the GE Capital Leadership Program. So for those of you who are thinking, what does networking have, what does it have to do with it? That's what it has to do with it. And in order to do that, that means you also need to have the tools ready 